Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Tipsquirrel.com, the website for everything Photoshop, Lightroom, Adobe Camera Raw, Photoshop Elements, and Photoshop Touch. In this video, I'll be looking at autocorrects that Photoshop gives us that can get us out of a bit of a sticky situation. So let's jump in and see how we get on. So from Bridge, I'm going to go up to this icon here to open it up in Adobe Camera Raw. And sure enough, straight away we have an auto button. Let's give that a click. And bang, we've all of a sudden we've got a pretty passable image. I'm just going to straighten this up. There we go, let's draw a line across there and then press enter. Let's move this across first of all and then press enter. And that's a much better image. I'm going to go back to default here and then I'm going to open the image in Photoshop. So off we go. Here it comes. Now let's see what we can do in Photoshop. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this background layer by pressing Control J to jump or duplicate. That's Command J on the Mac. Now if I go up to Image, you'll see that I've got Auto Tone, Auto Contrast and Auto Color. So let's try those. Auto Tone, first of all. Very nice and rich. Let's double click on that layer so that I can name it Auto Tone so we can compare them. Let's turn the visibility of that one off and Control J on the background again and go Image Auto Contrast and that's looking nice. Auto Contrast. I can click on the eyeball here just to turn this on. There's a slight warming up on the Auto Contrast but they're very similar. Okay, let's turn the visibility of that one off again. Control J on the background layer. And this time let's go to Image and Auto Color. And very nice it is too. I'm going to double click on that. Auto Color. I'll even spell it wrong, seeing as that's how it's spelled in the menu. I'm English. I like my U's in the color. Okay, let's turn the visibility of that one off. And then duplicate again, because there's somewhere else we can go. Control J. And I'm going to create a new adjustment layer, this time Levels. And we have an Auto button right here. If I click on that, it's pretty appalling. By default, it's not that great. So let's undo that. But if I hover over, it says Automatically Correct Levels. Use Alt for Options, which of course will be the option on the Mac. So I'm going to press Alt and click and we get this box come up. Now I can go along here and I can try all these different settings. Let's go from the top to the bottom. Enhance monochromatic contrast. Okay, not bad. Enhance per channel contrast. And if you leave your mouse over, it tells you what it's going to do. In this case, clip color channels independently to increase contrast and alter color casts. Auto tone. This one was auto contrast and this one was auto color. So we have them here too. Let's have a look through. So I'm going to go to this one which is auto color and then click OK. But let's compare this. It says it was auto color and if I toggle that on and off you may be able to see there's a slight warming on the auto color that we got off the menu. That's with it and that's without it. So add a little bit of warmth to it. But there we are. There's several ways that we can auto-correct our images right here in Photoshop. Now before I go any further, I'm going to clear up some of these spots on the wall here. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.